the channel and in this video I'm going to show you the simplest way to complete this lab. So first of all just simply log in with your credentials and once you're done with that just simply come back over here click on the checkbox and then click on agree and continue. Now just simply wait and just simply activate your cloud shell. It will take a couple of seconds so just simply wait for that. Now click on continue. Now in the description box of this video, I will share all these commands. So basically just simply copy all these command like this way and make sure that you have to copy this full stop as well. Copy like this, come back over here, wait for a second. Now just simply paste and hit enter. And then click on authorize. Now what you do, now here just simply search for the data fusion. Open this thing new tab, come back over here. Now here just simply click on this view instance. Now just simply authorize yourself. Click on the checkbox, scroll down and then click on this continue. Now just simply wait. Now just simply click on this Ragnar like this way. Now just simply click on your project ID. Now just simply click on this file and just simply wait for a couple of seconds. Now as a format just simply choose the text like this way and then click on this confirm. And it's done. Now I request you please pay attention over here because this is a very important part of this lab. So first of all what you do, here you can see down arrow, just simply click over here, then click over here and here you can see CSV, just simply click over here and here you can see this checkbox, just simply click on this checkbox and then click on this apply. Now just simply wait for a seconds. And it's done. Once you're done with this, just simply come back to the lab instructions and click on the task number 5. Just simply scroll down and from here, just simply copy this command from the point number 3. Copy like this, come back over here. Now here you can see small CLI, just simply click and paste like this way. Now it will load the schema, just simply wait and it's done. Once you're done with this, just simply click on this create pipeline. Now just simply choose as a batch pipeline. And it's done. Just simply click on this allow and then click on this sync like this way. Now here you can see BigQuery. Just simply click over here, drag and drop over here. Now just simply connect this thing with this like this way. Okay. Once you're done with this, now just simply click on this properties like this way. Now what you do, just simply come back to the lab instructions and click on the task number 6. Just simply scroll down and from here you can see, just simply copy this. First of all what you do, first of all just simply copy your project ID, copy like this, come back over here. Now here you can see data set project ID. Just simply paste a project ID over here like this way. Okay, now just simply copy this reference name, just simply copy like this, come back over here, scroll down. Now here you can see in the basic, just simply paste a reference name over here. Now for the data set, just simply scroll down and from here just simply copy this data set like this way, come back over here and just simply paste. Now for the table, copy this name, come back over here, just simply paste like this. And once you're done with this, just simply click on this validate. Just simply wait for a second now. And it's done. Then, then click on this cross. Now what you do, just simply come back over here and from the point number 4 and point number A, just simply copy this name, come back over here, click over here, just simply paste a name over here and then click on this save. Just wait. And it's save. Now what you do, just simply wait for a second and then click on this deploy. And it's done. Now just simply click on this run button like this way. It's starting. Now we have to just simply wait for at least 5 to 10 minutes and after that we will done with this lab. So just simply wait and let's see.
and it's finally done. Now if you just simply come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for each and every task you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated no need to worry just simply wait for a couple of more seconds and the score will update for sure. Just simply wait and watch. And as you can see, it's done. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day, guys.